Alright, welcome LEGO fans to a very exciting episode here on Middle Earth Essentials. And today with us is Andrew1980 Andrew 30. Hello. And we have something all the way from New Zealand. Middle Earth Stamps. And you can barely see. There, there we go. So let's go ahead and take the packaging off. Don't take the stamps off, of course. No. Not be good. Don't destroy the stamp area. I won't. And here they are. So we get six stamps, all worth a different amount of money, so we'll go from left to right. And here at number one is Thorn Oak and Shield. 70 cents to buy this in New Zealand. Surprisingly, Thorn is the cheapest one, <laughs> which really makes me upset because he should probably be the most expensive one. Because he's Thorn, and he's the king. But he's the cheapest for some reason. And then. And Byron is the most expensive. I was gonna save that for later, but okay. Next is Gandalf, he's kinda cheap too. Uh. $1.40. And that's him walking into Dol Guldur. Ready to battle the Necromancer. Next is Tauriel. At least she's not the most expensive one. $1.90. <laughs> Next is Bilbo Baggins at the e in the eaves of Mirkwood, seeing the butterflies. But moments later, he'll be ensnared by the Mirkwood spiders. $2.10. <laughs> Next up is Legolas, $2.40. He's just oh, it's actually Legolas Greenleaf. Legolas Greenleaf. And he's just firing an arrow at some random orc. And finally, the most expensive and is what looks to be oh no, it's about the same size as Legolas. But the most expensive is Bar the Bowman, two dollars and ninety cents. So if you're in New Zealand, which of these would you like to put on your <laughs> letters the most, or would you like to put them all? <laughs> and then the background is just the Hobbit, the Desolation of Smaug, and the map of Middle Earth. Nothing exciting on the back. Those aren't extra stamps, that's the light coming through. And then we also have this cardboard backing. Ah, oh, the cardboard backing. Wish you could just do that too. <laughs> but but you wouldn't do that to the stamps. Oh no, I would not. And they do come off. No, no! No. Well, I just want to show. A perforation if I can. Right there you can see the perforation. So they are real legit stamps. Yes. They're not just collectible things or whatever. So I have a feeling that well yeah, you can see it, these are pretty expensive. I mean three dollars for a stamp. Pretty expensive. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm not familiar with like how much a New Zealand dollar is compared to an American dollar, but I have a feeling it's pretty close. And it does say dollars, so I'm assuming you say it like dollars and not like pounds. Well, if you do, francs. I can find out how much a dead dollar is in New Zealand. Oh, okay. We'll be back momentarily. All right. One U.S. dollar equals. Well, one New Zealand dollar oh, equals. One New Zealand dollar equals. Eighty-one cents. Eighty-one cents. So the dollar there is worth a little more than ours. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, not up too far on my math uh, today. Well, and then U.S. dollar to New Zealand dollar it equals to one point two four New Zealand dollars. Hmm. So it's pretty close, not exactly the same though. So pretty much. Uh, so <laughs> this would actually be worth more than three dollars. Yes. That's what you're saying. Okay. Very expensive stamp then. Let's see here. That's two dollar. Uh, how much is it? Two two, two ninety uh, New Zealand dollars. Two dollars and ninety cents. That would be. No, that would be two dollars and thirty four cents. Oh, that's right. Because the dollar's worth more there. Okay. <laughs> it's not quite as expensive as it looks, <laughs> but uh, still pretty expensive for a stamp. And then this Thorn Oaken Shield one is. 70 cents. So it would be 57 cents. That's pretty reasonable, I suppose, for a collectible stamp. 
But anyway, we spent enough time talking yeah. about the stamp, so let's go ahead and give an overall rating. What are you thinking? One million. One million <laughs> out of ten? We didn't give the Tower of Orthanc one million out of ten. Uh, maybe I just like the stamps that much. I was going to say a nine, which is uh, pretty okay. good for a okay. sheet of stamps. They're pretty cool. Yeah, nine. Nine. So I might want to Nine put, out of eight. Might want to put them in a glass display case or something. Nine out of eight. If you can get the, I haven't, do you know where your mother got these? Um, the Hobbit Shop. Oh, the Hobbit Shop. You can get these on thehobbitshop.com. I uh, believe so, at least. What, would you mind looking up the price real quick? Okay. Do that momentarily. But actually, oh, yeah. Uh, so you're going to say 1 million out of 10. Uh, and I'll say 9 out of 10. Uh, which is actually a pretty good rating for a sheet of stamps. Okay. So he's looking that up now. Okay, okay. Stamps. Stamp. Stamp. And almost there. Okay. Um. Make sure it's the exact one. Okay. Where? 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 I don't. I don't see it. Can Can you just? We'll be back in a minute. Well, it appears that the Hobbit Shop does not have these anymore. So, I guess you guys are out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> you can look on. But e they do have. Uh, they do have other way more expensive ones. Yeah. I'm assuming than these. Yes. So I my guess would probably be maybe somewhere around. Ten dollars or something. Hmm. Um. Let me see if eBay. Yeah. Let's get eBay or something. Hold we'll back again momentarily. <laughs> this is gonna be well, okay. I could entertain uh, you, I suppose, while we wait. Uh, okay. Um. You can stare upon this. <laughs> More stuff that he, that he couldn't get. It's Andrew nineteen, Andrew thirty, and Faye and Ruby second. They're very jealous of. Hopefully we'll do this again when the desolation is found. Oh my gosh! What? They're selling an Evangeline Lily of a desolation smell beside photo. Okay. Oh. Okay, stamps. Come on. Come on. About $46 or something. Whoa. I don't know. We're back in just a bit. Okay, that was a false alarm. It's actually about $15 plus shipping and handling. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Check out more No Earth Essential videos, and we will see you next time.